Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Leo and let's do some more difficult problems today. Today's problem is called shortest path to get food. We are standing here at the asterisk in an I by N character grid. And uh, a sharp sign is a foot cell. So there might be multiple foot cells, but we don't care about it. Z uh, o stands for free space. And X is an obstacle. I think this is zero. I'm not sure. So X stands for an obstacle that we cannot cross. We are going to return the minimum length to reach to any foot cell. And if it's not possible, we're going to return negative one. Let's take a look at example here. So we're standing here and we're going to get the food, but we don't know where the food is, all right? So we move up, down, left, and right. We go to our neighbors. Now we see two obstacles. We cannot go any further. So we go down and we go right. Okay, both are fine. And then we start from here. We go to our neighbors. The up neighbor is an obstacle, so we can go there. The left is where we are from. So it was visited. We cannot go back. And we go right, that's okay. And we go down, that's okay. And here we can go here. Uh, the same thing, if we go up, it was an obstacle. And we go left, it was already visited, so we can't go back. We go forward, okay. We go down, oh, we found the food. Okay, so now we can return the food. Oh no, the, the distance between this this original cell and the food okay and also we can go here use this path to do the same thing okay and here's another example we cannot go any further we can only go down and here we have nothing to, nowhere to go in this case we're going to return negative one okay so this is a very simple basic BFS implementation. So I will not address too much about it. I will just give you the implementation of the code. Okay. So first I'm going to record the, uh, uh, the, the, the measurements of the grid. So n equals to grid zero dot length. Okay. And we're going to need a Boolean matrix called visited. Boolean matrix. And uh, yes, that's basically what we want right now. And we're going to traverse through the grid. If grid IJ equals to the asterisk, that means the first element here. So once we know the like the root of our BFS, we're going to return the BFS, okay? So we have IJ and MN, and we have the grid, we have the visited, okay? And if it doesn't work, we're going to return negative one, okay? Next, the BFS implementation, private uh, integer, BFS in I, in J, in M, in N, character matrix, grid, Boolean, visited. Oh, where am I? Okay. So first things first, we're going to initialize a queue. Okay. The queue will record, uh, we will store all the coordinates into our grid. Next, we're going to put our original IJ into the queue. And also, we're going to update the visited matrix to true for, for coordinate IJ. After that, we can initialize our BFS. Oh, there's one more thing. Our final result. Okay. So while Q is not empty, 
since we're going to find the shortest path, we care about the steps. Okay, so we have to record a size of the current queue so that we don't miss miss anything. Okay, miscalculate anything. Uh, if we're standing here, we our neighbors are here and we record the size of our current queue to avoid any miscalculations. Okay, so now we can traverse through the queue. Uh, we're going to pull something out, okay? Pull the most recent, oh, pull, pull the, pull the thing in our queue, okay? The first, per, first element. So x is equal to cur zero, and y is equal to cur one. So if we reach uh, grid x, y, if we have reached our one of our food, we're going to return the distance, okay? And if not, we're going to visit all of its neighbors that are available. So for neighbors, new energy matrix, I'm going to say x plus one y, x minus one y, x y plus one, x y minus one okay and the neighbor x is na zero neighbor y is equal to neighbor one okay so now we have all the coordinates of its neighbors okay so we have to select which ones are to be picked uh, put in our queue so if an x is less than zero or an x is larger than or equal to n or n y less than zero, larger than or equal to n, or an x and y is an obstacle. So we have x. Uh, in that case, we don't care about it. Okay, we just ignore it and into our next iteration. So now we have some empty cells. Okay, we el eliminated the food cell. We eliminated the out of boundary or obstacles. Now we have empty cells. If it's unvisited, okay? So we have to see if it's visited or not. If it's unvisited, we can add it to our queue. and then mark it as visited to avoid any miscalculation, okay? After each iteration, we can increment the distance. And if we're not returning anything, we're going to return negative one, okay? Let's take a look. Yeah, I think it passes all the test cases here. And let's analyze the complexity. So for time complexity, we're traversing through the whole grid. So it should be n by n. And for space, um, uh, for n by n, and we're doing this BFS. So BFS is, uh, I think it's constant because we only have four, at most four neighbors. Okay, so that should be fine. For space complexity, we have the Boolean matrix, which is also n by n. Okay, let's submit it. Yeah, perfect. It passes all the test cases. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in our next video.